So now we need to head back towards Fort Nagur. So that's what we're going to do. Luckily, Jean can just teleport us there. Or, excuse me. Tapita. Yeah, I need to, uh... Switch you guys around. I don't know why you're in front, Bosh. That's not gonna work here. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So, to Fort Nagur. I'm also gonna need to use Tapita's ability to hop around the water. To get to where we want to go, which is to the south. There we are. Let's just hop along to the south. And there should be a little building we can find down here somewhere. Which is where we need to go. I think we want to go around these trees. Ah! What are you doing to me here? Alright, that's fine with me. Boom! Yeah, it feels like I haven't recorded in a long time. Not just this, but anything. And it's probably because I haven't. Here's that building we were talking about. Okay, that's where we want to be. This looks like a peaceful place, doesn't it? Welcome to Whale Cape. That's nice. What's going on in here? Got some kids. Papa finally came home, but we still don't have any customers. I'm tired of eating bun whales. Bun whales. I still don't know exactly what they're supposed to be. The cavern's open again thanks to Papa, but st still nobody comes for sightseeing. One day, people will know the inspiring story of a child who rose to greatness from bitter poverty. My story. Yeah. Good luck with that, kid. I eat nothing but bun whales every day, and look how er, big and strong I am. Buy some of our famous bun whales. They'll make a new man out of you. I think we already have one. <laughs> you can buy them if you want, which I really don't, but... They're there. We want to talk to this guy up here. Hey, I remember you. You're the people who defeated that awful Trout Man, right? Trout Man? I can't tell you all how grateful I am. I was afraid I'd never see my wife and kids again. I'm afraid I don't have anything left to reward you with, but please enjoy the sights at Whale Cave. You won't be disappointed. Yeah, so he was one of the guys that was locked up in that dungeon, so... If you remember. So we want to head down here. Ba -ba. Just what are we climbing down into is my question. This looks kind of... This really does, doesn't look natural. It looks fragile. Lynn might be able to break it. So let's have her bust it open. Alright. Um, what? Malial. Ah, it's raining men and other things. What's going on down here? Are you alright? Sure. I'm not what you would call used to people just dropping in on me like this. These little ones gave me a ride here. So they're like little whales. Poe. Tee <laughs> And Sidon. Hi! All right. Certainly, my good sirs, you understand where you stand this instant. Not really. We are in the mouth of the largest creature in the world. A whale. That's right. T told you it didn't seem natural. Such an amazing animal. Legends tell of entire armies carried across the ocean by these great beasts. And their intelligence, they are born with an instinctive knowledge of all human language. This is an unbelievable find. Or it would be if I could just get him to wake up. I would love to talk to this creature for even a few minutes. What knowledge of history he must possess. I've tried everything. Pepper, fire, poking him in all the usual sensitive spots, even kicking that great big uvula of his. 
Nothing rouses him. It's maddening. Hmm. Something must be wrong, then. Uh-huh. Grandpa's been sleeping ever since he swallowed that big stone dummy. Hmm. That doesn't sound good. That's right, that's right. He gulped it right down. Poe, Sidon, what have you two not been telling me? Pardon the confusion. These two address this whale as Grandpa. Yeah, so this is Grandpa. It's true, it's true. Rocky the dummy made Grandpa go to sleep. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The big stone dummy shows up in our dreams all the time. Hmm. I can't, I can't, that's not right. He's really scary. All he says is sleep, sleep, sleep over and over again. Didn't Grandpa say the same thing? That's right, that's right. Looks like we have to do something about this. Big stone dummy. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Ah, there was a statue of some kind in the whale's stomach. I'm sure of it. But how could that statue be keeping this whale asleep? I don't know, man. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wrinkles doesn't believe us. I'm gonna make him swim home. <laughs> ah, apologies. Apologies. I'll be stranded here if you don't give me a ride back. Better watch yourself, man. Poe, Sidon, I think I'm done here for today, if you don't mind. You bet, Wrinkles. Hop on. I'll take you back to shore. I appreciate it, Poe. My house is on a beach west of here. Feel free to stop by any time. So that's Malio. I believe originally his name was Mayuru. Something like that, but... Whale's Uvula. So this is a dungeon, and this is the dungeon I always think of when I think of this game. I don't know why, it's just... I don't know. Iconic, I guess, sort of. Not really, but... So we got a new enemy, and of course the... The, the scissor hermits are here. But the hermit squids are actually, like, really fragile. You'll probably be able to one-shot them with just about anybody. Except maybe Nina. But otherwise, yeah. Because they're pretty weak. Yeah, the only bad thing about this, and it's not very long, but the encounter rate is atrocious. So... Expect to get into a lot of r repeated random battles, and it's... It's not fun. But yeah, at this point, we should be able to damage this guy physically. So if you remember when we first encountered him, like, like we couldn't do much physically. Like, we could usually hurt around one. But, yeah. Alright, so we want to find our way around this maze of whatever that is. Something. There, there's a new enemy. The shotgun head palette swap of, of our infamous, uh, the original Angry Bird. They're not really a big deal. These enemies aren't exactly what you would call threatening. There are a couple enemies in here that can actually do some damage. But I'm sure we'll get to them eventually. I think there's two chests in this room. One's, I think, over somewhere. Hustlers, these enemies are just kind of sad. I mean, they look like mages of some kind, but they don't really do magic. They just kind of attack you for low, for pretty low amounts of damage, so it's like, I don't know, man. Like, uh, I don't know what the hell's up with these guys, but they don't, they're not threatening at all, and they give really low amounts of money for some reason. So we got a chest over here. Iron Man, which I don't think is any good. Maybe it is, but I don't think so. I don't think it's any good. Yeah. If you have the Asset you want, it's actually better, but... Yeah. We could always sell it, though. 
Okay. Yeah, that pretty much tells the story right there. Bum, 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 bum. Ah, yeah, there's one, one of the enemies, Land Lizard. They can actually do some damage if they get a crit on you. Uh, 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 otherwise, they're not really a big deal, but yes. Sometimes they'll do a crit and it'll actually do some pretty good damage. So, watch out for that. But otherwise, they're not that big of a deal. Drop something! Iron plate! Okay. I don't think we really need that, but... For someone that doesn't really have very good armor on, you can put that on, I guess, but... Yeah. If you have the Unbreakable, that's better. Same with the Magma Armor. I mean, like I said before, if you get the Magma Armor, I mean, you're gonna be good for quite a while, so... The chest over this way. Yeah, like I said, I, I don't know, like, when, whenever I think of this game, Breath of Fire 2, I always think of this dungeon I, I, inside this whale. I don't know why. It's like one of the first things I always think of. Yeah. Alrighty then. It's in counter rate, I'm telling you. Let me get a hundred zenny. Yeah, it's not really that much to be honest with you, but. Okay, we just got these two guys. It's like, whatever. Any of us can one-shot you, so it's really not a big deal. Alrighty then. Hmm. I've got some webbing or something. Okay, we want to go this way first. Should lead to a chest. Yeah, there's a lot of paths in this place that go like, no, ow. Random crit that hurt like hell. Yeah, you see what I mean? That can happen. But yeah, there's a lot of like random places in this in this uh, area that just go nowhere. Just, just to dead ends, empty rooms and such, so. There's some paths we're not going to be taking. Hopefully I don't mess that up. But hey, Bosch reaches level 18. He does still need to gain a few levels to, to catch up with everybody. But he's working on it. Definitely need to heal you after that random crit that almost took you down. Oh, right! There's there's this guy. The Goo Champion. <laughs> He's basically like a met like the Metal Slimes from, from the Dragon Quest games, where you, you can pretty much only hurt him like 1 to 3 damage. And he likes to run away, but if you manage to beat him, he gives an ass load of EXP. So you definitely won't want to try and take them down before they run. And they don't really hurt that much or anything. Got him. Look at that, 6,125 experience. Nice. Good stuff. So killing them off can be a good way to gain some extra levels. It's good stuff. Then we get power food, which I think increases your uh, strength. Doesn't it? I think that's what it does. Increases strength. Should probably give that to Bosch then, right? Probably a good idea. Because I think he had the lowest. You know, plus he's in the lowest level, so I mean. 63, 64, yeah, okay. Okay. That's good. Na 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 na. Now I want to take the middle path. Hmm. 
Oh boy. I think we want to go in here, maybe? No, that's not the right way. That's just a dead end. We want to go this way. Ah, here's the last new enemy in here, the Earthshaker. They can actually cast Quake, which can do a lot of damage to your entire party. Well, speaking of which, thank you for demonstrating that, and I think Tapita may be dead. Yep, definitely. Yep, so... The, they're pretty rare, but they're definitely the most threatening enemy in here. Like, by far. Okay. Let's get, let's get patched up there, because... Yeah, there is a boss here, but the boss is just stupidly easy. Okay. Let's... Yeah, I think we want to head in here. You know, let, let's let our friend Lynn bust it open. You know, because she likes to hit stuff, so... And we get golden armor, which probably would be good if you didn't buy the magma armor. But since we did, the magma armor's better. So, yeah. You can't have it. Neither can you. Okay, well... Like I said, if you get that magma armor, it's going to be good. Alright, so... What do we got here? Oh! A goo champion! Yeah, sometimes they appear with other enemies. You know, for whatever reason. I don't know why. They just do. But, uh, yeah. You know, I probably should have targeted the, the Goo Champion first, but maybe we'll still get him. Come on, don't run. Don't run. Just, just hit me. Ah, what a poor sport. Oh, well. It's my own fault for not going after him first, but yeah. So here we just want to head to the north. It's, it's pretty much a straight path from here. But yeah, like I said, there's a boss coming up, and it is just stupidly easy. Even if you're pretty low-leveled, you shouldn't have any trouble with it. I don't really see how. Okay, let's make sure we're healed up, even though it doesn't really matter, because he doesn't really do much damage to you. But still, you never know. There it is. It's like some kind of thing. There is an inscription etched into the statue. Woe be unto him who awakens me from my slumber. Pain and suffering shall be his companions, and he shall never again know peace. That, uh, that sounds lovely, doesn't it? Uh-oh. Mm-mm-mm. Arr. Why can't I sleep? I haven't slept in so long. That's um, that must suck, man. If I can't sleep, then I'll put everyone else to sleep forever. Arr. You look happy about something, but what's there to be happy about? I know you deserve to sleep forever, too. So, boss battle. Like I said, this fight is extremely easy. The only thing he he does is weak attacks, and he'll try to put you to sleep. But other than that, that's pretty much it. So, get, getting put to sleep is the only thing you really have to worry about. He only has, like, 800 HP, so just attack, and... He'll be dead in a few turns, especially if you, if you get some crits. So, yeah, look at that. That took about half his HP. So, so yeah, this is a pretty pathetic boss, but... I, I guess the developers wanted to give you a break here. Probably because of all the encounters 
that 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 you get on the way here. I don't know, but there you go. That is a really good fight though for how easy it is. T too bad you couldn't just keep getting into it. That'd be awesome. You'd like gain level so fast. Oh, that felt good. Yeah. I think I might be able to sleep now. Thanks a lot. Welcome. Why don't you go take a nap somewhere? I think I'll just sleep forever. Sounds like a plan. So that takes care of that. The Dream Fiend was defeated, but Grandpa is still sleeping soundly. So we need to head back to the Uvula. Oh, right, here we are finally after so many random battles. Just want to give it a whack, and there you go. That should wake it up, right? Maybe. Uh oh. Apparently it shakes the entire world, the entire island, whatever. Earthquake, Cape Quake, somebody, anybody help, Cape Quake. Oh, that's cute. Uh-oh, you might want to get out of there. That doesn't look very safe at all. So it looks like Grandpa finally awakens. After sleeping for who knows how long. Probably years. And it kind of shoots us up his blowhole. <laughs> that was a fun little ride, wasn't it? How's it going? <laughs> Jehoshaphat! <laughs> that was the darndest dream. Huh? What in tarnation happened to this place? I must have been asleep for a long time for things to change this much. I wonder how long. Anyways, you're the fine fellers that woke me up, ain't ya? You can call me Grandpa. Everyone else does. Hop on board. I can take you fellers anywhere you want to go. It's the least I can do for you waking me up. Okay. Melodia's real nice this time of year. I want to go there. That's for sure. I hear the circus has come to town. Oop. We definitely need to go there, then. Uh-huh. Maybe we can find the grass man there. That's right. There ain't nowhere in the oceans I can't take ya. If you ever need anything, just jingle a whale bell a couple of times when you're on a beach. The old guy who lives near here has one. I'm sure he won't mind if you borrow it for a while. See you nice fellers later. So we need to get this whale bell. 